TGC Tours. Oh shoot, did it again. Um, World Cup of Design contest course. For this round, we are at the Loggerhead by Steve S Roll nine oh eight, um, and we're in South Carolina, Hilton Head area, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach maybe. Hmm. Um, I've actually played a bunch of golf in South Carolina. I went to school there, so. But I was up in the, yeah, about in 60 miles west of Myrtle Beach, so it was different than this, for sure. Hmm. Kiowa, yeah, that could be too. Car like, South Carolina is not a huge state, but it does have some, ver some different um, areas, which is, which is neat. Okay. Oh, I yanked that. Uh, looks like we've got almost no elevation change here after playing two courses that were in the mountains. Sea Island? Oh, yeah. Is Sea Island, Georgia, like the, the actual Sea Island courses in Georgia, isn't it? But right beside South Carolina? Like Sea Island that Davis Love is from, or is that, or whatever. But again, right beside South Carolina. Okay. Okay. Gentle opener there. All right, centerline hazard and par five. Why? Why do we have that? What do I gain by going down the right? Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna play. I the yeah. I'm gonna play left, just because I got more room over there. I don't know that I get a better angle over the on the right. Not sure. We'll see what this shot's like. Uh, might be pin dependent. So yeah, it makes sense that this is pretty flat being down by the ocean. Okay. Length. Broken hatchet? Yeah, I was talking about there's an actual Sea Island that, I mean, they I think they play a tournament there now, don't they? That's a big bunker, Steve. <laughs> it's a huge bunker. Uh Oh, I don't love the way you've got the pin with Slopes on both sides, but okay. Oh goodness, I don't like that. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, I meant the course. All right, don't go too fast. Okay, greens are 179. Good speed. These would easily handle 187. You could drop them down to 163 if you if you felt so inclined. Okay. Bunkers are pretty flat. I imagine that was on purpose. They're more waste bunkers. Flat and shallow is what I meant. Cheapers. <sighs> Just yanking it. How far close to the water line? 
Ooh. Close-ish. Not horrendously, though. Oh, well, that thing's wiggling. It's a concern there that if you get too close with that, the, wa the water could kind of, the game could pull the water up and the bunker could end up being a water bunker. Oh. Well. I could, um, I'm definitely going to be tempted into this. So you go out right to play safe. I don't play safe. So I'll take the shortcut, please. Now, if I had to hit it over here, yeah, I'd have 30 yards farther. Okay. Then we actually hit a decent wedge. Wind should help it a bit. Then a bounce. And a trickle. Okay. More of a trickle than I was expecting. Whoa! That wasn't a trickle. There, let's chip it in. Yeah, I mean, that's a wedge. Thought I played that about perfect. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, oh man. Got some slope here too. All right, I'm going to try and hit this and bounce it on. The one thing about it being so flat that's tricky is that the views aren't as good because of it, but I'm at the same time, I'm glad you didn't just start yanking tees up. Oh, that's well read. Do I not have my chat box on? Hmm. Yeah, I've played I, this hole is a little bit kind of a feels like a bit of a filler hole a little bit. Yeah, driver flip. Would be quite a bit more difficult in real life, but in this game, it's... I put too much spin on it. I always overestimate how much the wind's going to help. Pitches. But yeah, that, is, just, that hole doesn't really have anything memorable about it. So it might just be a hole to get from... One to the next, which is fine. All right, we're going to take a driver at this and hammer it. Ah, <sighs> don't catch the bunker. Kick it right. Do something. Nope. That's what you get. That's an awful shot. All right. Yeah, your pins are um, not easy. Remember when I said this would easily handle 187? Um, I'm going to take the easily out of it. It'll handle it. It won't be easy, though. 
Yeah, it handles it. I just, it's, there's going to be the, like, I've already had one shot that I was like, why is that still rolling? Um, 187 will just exasperate that a little bit. It still will play fine. Like, it'll still be playable. It's just going to be a little bit, a little more of those head scratchers on occasion. I like, I like this area here. Um, I like the way this environment is back in the, in the woods. Very, very true to the area. Um, wind. Good chipping area back here. Oh, it just died. It just died. Hmm. Yeah, I like that environment there, though. I like how that looks. Okay. So we got a wide fairway, but don't be fooled. And then you kind of kink the fairway in where I want to go. Huh. Uh, South Carolina. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning that way too, Justin. I'm liking the inland holes. Um, the ones in the trees. Like the strategy of this hole. Damn, that went left. Oh, no. So one hole of the wind, it just... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I get you. I might have... I might have been tempted to do the whole thing inland. I don't know. Or do like the harbor town where like one or two holes kind of at the end sticks is out there, but the rest of it's more inland. Just, I'd be I'd be tempted to do that. Oh, this is that one template again. See if I can get the wind right for once. Why is it going over there? Huh. Okay. Well. Feels like if you're just a little bit off, you're chipping here. Yeah. Yeah, I I like I, I get it. It's just I think the holes that have interested me the most have been the ones back in the trees. These ones out here have been um ten was good. I like ten. But overall I agree with what Justin said, basically. Oh, here's an eagle. No. I mean, and you've played, you've played tested these at 187, and you're a ranger, so you know what you're looking for to play test, so it plays fine at 187. <laughs> we can put that to bed. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, more of this. Cut as much of this bunker as you want. Or as you dare. It's all in it's all in bounds. Beautiful. And then push it right into the sand. Hey Daniel. Hey. How you doing? Pat Lavar! You're reigning TGC Tours Rookie Design Contest champ. 
with the sub. Appreciate that, Pat. Thank you, man. 13 months. That's crazy. Some people are scared to hit driver out of the, out of the sand. I'll do it. Also, um, VLS iRacing League participant who participated in the insanity that was Friday night's VLS. I'm not sure what we're calling that. Yeah, I like that. I like that whole, um, if I, uh, I should have been paying more attention because I just hit driver out of the bunker. Cause why wouldn't I? Uh, if I hadn't, if I actually had a chance to get there, I like how you've got this, the beach kind of kinks in here too, to make that pin there. Your pins on the left are going to be just really easy. Um, if you can hit the fairway, right? The ones on the right are tricky. And I like that the tee shot, it, it's all about how much can you, t can you chew off of that? But then you kind of might want to be a bit more. Well, it depends on the the pin, I guess. Yeah, I like that. It's good use of the of the coast down there. And then you follow it up with a long par three, which makes sense. Uh, we're gonna draw this into that pin. Yeah, that was a that was hilarious. Like, there was times, Pat, that I literally was having a hard time driving because I was laughing so hard. And then because of that, I went and ran an in the IndyCar race at um, Texas in the official server. It was fun. It's week 13 this week, so well, I might look next week. I might do more of that. It's no good for my OBRL, but uh, cause it's just a totally different style of driving. But it's fun. Uh, drivable four, okay. Now, if I just blast it down the right, that's not going to be very fun. So I like what you've done there, where the bail right is just is no good. But you kind of need to feed it in from the right. Hmm. Oh, uh, that might be sand. Yeah. Oh, no, it's going to fly it. Oh, but it's not going to get the bounce. Ah. Fun hole. Yeah, okay, so there's that slope there. So going for this green and trying to go for this green, if you don't hit it, you're going to be left with a difficult shot. I like that. Hmm. Okay. I feel like the back nine, I, I, I've gotten more interested. I'm not sure why. I think it really started with that par five on the beach. Although, um, I think the 10th, 10th was really good too. Ah. I like the idea of this too. You use a lot of chipping areas, a lot of collection areas. Um, they're not crazy. There's been a couple of times where the it's it's felt harsh that the ball's rolled off the green, but it hasn't rolled into anything horrendous. So I mean I I I think it's probably a touch on the easier side, which is neither a con, um, a complaint nor is it a, a compliment. It's just a. An opinion and potentially a fact um there's room to play shots you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble
but there's some subtlety to the greens, which there's helping slopes that really help out. And then the subtlety of the green makes it a bit easier to make some putts. Which I really appreciate because I suck at putting. The environment, the environment wise, I agree with Justin. I, I enjoyed it. I, I think I liked the environment in the inland a bit more, but the back nine, I've really enjoyed the back nine. Uh, this is a cool finisher too. And it's interesting that there's water everywhere here, and yet it very rarely comes in play. So there's been some restraint shown there. Oh boy, that's a pin. It's kind of like, it's, it's just a good solid course. Like there's no bells and whistles to it, I don't think. But it, it's that less is more again. Hello there, K-Mad. Wrong club. Not enough. Okay. And then... <laughs> so you got the palmettos. The, the... So I do know that the state... Tree state plant, uh, palmetto, whatever that thing is. And I know that it's on the state flag. And then you've got a U.S. flag there, too. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Um, and you've also, I don't know if this is a, an Amer I I don't know if this is a, a, a just a Canadian thing or a worldwide thing. But um, I thought the rule was that your national flags have to be higher than other flags, which you've done here. Pretty much, Stefan Strait, yeah. Airfield. And I prefer the no gimmicks, personally. Check out the airfield. I know I'm blind, but where is it? Alright, um, I'll do that in a sec, a Scoot. Let me just knock this in. Oh, I can't once I do that. All right, for those watching on YouTube, I can't imagine you want to watch me fly around trying to find an airfield. So this is going to go in. We made parts 12 under. Really cool course. Less is more. Solid. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. If you've uh, liked what you've seen, hit like and subscribe. Make sure that um, people are able to see the courses these guys create and uh, help the algorithm do its, do its thing. I'll be back with another playthrough soon, but for now, I'm going to say cheers.